How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the Stream Deck 5.0 update. There's a lot of cool things that they added to it, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, we got to make sure our software is updated to 5.0. So we're going to click on the gear and make sure software version says 5.0. If it doesn't, click on check for updates and make sure it updates to 5.0. Once it's updated, you're going to see this little icon here for your Stream Deck store. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and you're gonna be presented with the Discover tab by default. You can go ahead and take a look at some of this here. I recommend looking at the Welcome to Stream Deck 5.0 and also Voice Mod and Stream Deck. I'm gonna be making a video on how to do this because this is awesome. I love this and I love how simple it is, but definitely take a look at some of the information here. But on the left-hand side, we have these four main tabs and these are really cool. So let's take a look at the plugins first. Plugins are, kind of the like backbone in my opinion to a stream deck they bring so much more functionality to it and it makes it unique to each individual person no matter what you're using it for so you can use the categories to find what you're looking for you can also use the drop down search for putting things in alphabetical most popular top rated and recently added you can even search for whatever you're looking for if you know exactly what it is so there's stuff for like audio, if you're using anything like voice mod, for example, as you can see, I have that installed. Uh, you can have an audio mute if you need to. I mean, there's different stuff. You got voice meter integration. You have the wave link. I mean, there's a lot of stuff for audio. So definitely take a look into all these different ones. For icons, icons I think is gonna be another really cool thing for a lot of people, especially if you wanna have your stream deck to be nice and flashy. So there's different categories. You have artistic. So if your stuff, or if you're using stuff like Illustrator, After Effects, Photoshop, Affinity Photo, like they have different icons for those. So this will be more of like the production side. For games, this will be more of like themes for games. I kind of wish we had a little bit more, but we got a few, so it's it's a good start. For general, general is gonna be pretty generic stuff, but Again, kind of wish we had a little bit more. I did install one, which was Legion. And then for Stream Deck, it's just the plain icons. But once you find the one you want, you can either click on install directly here, or you can just open it up, get some information about it. Maybe there's some photos. There could be a helpful link like you have here. And then if you like what you see, then you can click on install right there as well. Once you have it installed, go ahead and bring up your software again for your actual uh, Elgato or the Elgato uh, Stream Deck, and click on one of the tiles, and we're gonna go ahead and open up the actual library of all of our icons. So there's two ways to do that. You can click on the plus, which will then bring this guy up, and as you can see, Legion's already expanded, but if it's not, it's gonna look like that, and you'll see a bunch of them that you have installed. So you can mix match if you want to, so you can have multiple ones for different icons and stuff like that, but if you also, Want to open it up the other way, you can click on the down arrow and then open Stream Deck Icon Library, which does the same thing right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll expand that again. And these are going to be all static. Some of them might be animated. And to see if they're animated, it will say GIF at the bottom. So I'm just going to choose one randomly. And you won't see the effect in here because it's just there as a placement. But you'll see it on your actual Stream Deck, which I can't show. Like the physical stream deck, you'll actually see it though. But on here, you won't. Now, if you don't like this, you can just go and select another one. And if you want to go back to the default, you can go ahead and click the down arrow, go to reset default, and it gets rid of it completely. Now, I did cover a video on how to set from file and create new icons. So if you guys create yours unique and you don't want to use any of these ones that are on the actual um, store itself, Go ahead and take a look at that video inside of the Stream Deck playlist if you need information on how to actually do that for um, setting from file or creating a new icon because I do cover that in the playlist. I'll link that in the card above and in the video description below. So let's go ahead and close that. Now for actual music, music and sound effects. This is really cool. You wanna know why? Because they're royalty free. So you won't have to worry about getting any type of claims. However, 
If you do get a claim, they have some information on their website, and I will throw that up on the screen so that way you guys can see what I found on the FAQs. But I'll also link it in the video description below so that way you guys have that link anytime you need it. So that way you can always get that information. But they do have a way for you guys to report any false claims that might happen on YouTube or on Twitch. But you can use these sound effects and these music pieces on stream and as a VOD royalty free. You shouldn't get any type of DMCA claims or anything like that. But if you do... Elgato is going to try to help you, as you guys have seen on the screen there. But here on the actual store software, you can have different genres, different instruments, moods, and you can you can mess with the tempo, you can mess with the duration. And once you find one you like, just go ahead and click on download. And then once it's downloaded, you can then click on open library and then... Once you have the song, you just click and drag it, or you can do play audio, search for the song, and then you'll have all that stuff here that you can mess with. So that's two ways of being able to get it. And if you don't like the song and you don't want it anymore, you can just go ahead and either delete it from the actual folder, or you can just click on here and it will delete it right there. So that way you don't have it anymore, taking up any space on your computer. Same thing with sound effects. Sound effects, you only have categories though, and you have just durations. But it's the same concept. You download it, open up the library, click and drag it into the stream deck, and then you'll be able to have the information there. So it just makes it really easy to do it that way. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the update for Elgato's stream deck update 5.0. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you have any questions, we can always talk about it in the comment section below. If you're enjoying content like this, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on my channel as I do cover a lot of tutorials that go over the tech side of streaming to help you guys understand the softwares, giving you guys some tips and tricks, and just trying to make streaming a little bit easier for you. But if you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to me whenever I'm streaming on my social medias, inside of my Discord, or inside the comment section below. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.